What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. So a couple of days ago, I posted a community post and asked you guys to give me literally the worst and most unplayable weapon attachments and basically weapon combinations that you guys can possibly think about. And some of you guys came out with some good ideas and today I'm here to play with those weapons to see are they actually that bad? Am I going to be able to get kills with them? Or am I going to be able to even play with those weapons? So some of these weapon setups are really ridiculous. We're going to go through them one by one and play to see how those things play out. But before we start, I just wanted to let you know that liking the video is really going to help the channel to grow day after day. And this video to be seen by other Battlefield players. So do make sure to do that as well. And I'll be really grateful. Also, if you found the information helpful or you just find the videos funny, why not having the channel subscribed, right? So with all that said, let's jump right into the video. So, first off, I'm going to start with uh, this requested weapon. It was basically GVT4570 without any attachments. So, let's take a look and see how this is. Alright, this shouldn't be so hard. Oh god, look at the iron side on this thing. What is this? Now to find some players. Oh, there, there's someone there. Let me go down. Come on, mate. Let me get a kill with this. Oh God, that was the first headshot. I missed some bullets, but you know, with this iron side, bro, it's gonna be hard. I'm just gonna try to go for the head because, yeah, because doing anything else would result in your kills being stolen. So we're not gonna do that. Yeah, it's a bit hard. I wouldn't say this is unplayable. I'm really worried about the next nominee because that weapon is gonna be a mess. Just wait and see. Ah man, I just can't land those shots. The AR are just raining down, bro. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, uh, there's a dude there. You believe that's a player? Mm, looks like it. Oh, that was close. That was so close. I was close to a headshot, but that was hard to hit. 150 meters away. Is that possible? I'm just seeing the scope glints, really. Nope. Come on, one shot. No. No, it's really hard. You have to engage with people in close ranges with this. All right, now we're talking. These guys are bots, though. But I do believe it's an interesting weapon for close range. Like, it's not all that bad. Ah, so I got a player. Finally. Quick scoping with this thing is really fine. Because you don't need... A weapon side for doing any quick scope. Ah, oh, that was a headshot. Hey, the dude was standing still though. That was an easy target for me. So yeah, it's really possible to play with the weapon at least. I would say it's it's possible to play with it, right? Because there's nothing really messing with you apart from having the iron side which is really a pain in the ass but having one scope on this weapon i'm not talking about a red dot like a two times or three times magnification it's going to be interesting like without any attachment but a scope the weapon's going to be playable even like this with the iron side i would say it's fine so this one was playable so yeah let's go to the other recommended weapon it was the pkp with armor piercing rounds and suppressor Unfortunately for the commenter on my community post, PKP does not have any kind of suppressor on it. So I'm just going to go with the factory barrel. You can't do anything with the under barrel. So I'm just going to go with iron sights and armor piercing. This is the closest thing that I can possibly get for what you recommended. All right, let's see how we can do with this weapon. I'm really worried about this one because it really has a downside to it. Oh God, just look at this. <laughs> how am I supposed to just see my target? Look at this. There's one. Oh, decent damage. That's fine. I can deal with that, probably. Oh, that's a real player. All right. So, I'm getting the hang of it. Yes, sir. I thought it would be worse, but I believe it's completely playable. I do believe I hear people. Yep. Second time I killed this dude. With the iron sight, aiming is just, just way harder. All right, there's someone here. Hold on. There he is. Got him. Oh, there's that dude. 
I do believe that was a sniper. Yeah. Got you, bro. Another sniper. Why are they not able to hit me? If I reload this thing, I might get some kills. There are some people here playing. Alright, one more headshot. Got him. Maybe I can get it killed myself. Got it. Another one? No. No. It's just a bit, you know, there's just damage issues. Like, the weapon is kind of playable, I would say. With a, with a weapon side, like a red dead side or something, it's going to be way, way better. But you guys got to try a bit better, you know? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. The most unplayable, in my opinion, is yet to come. So we're going to see about that. There are snipers here making things hard. Oh, yeah. There's one. See if we can hit that dude. Yep. Got him. They've got some in-range capabilities as well. I've got these snipers. Got another one of those snipers. Close range though. What I believe about the weapon, absolutely playable. The iron sights on the PKP are so freaking fun. I do recommend you guys to play with, not the setup specifically, but using the iron sights, perfect. Like, <laughs> I never thought it could be this fun. But yeah, the weapons generally, it's playable, guys, it's playable. All right, so the last weapon, we've got the NVKS-22 with slug shell, iron sight, I do believe, suppressor, we've got, and flashlight, yep, flashlight. So this is going to be the last set I'm going to play with. To make things even worse, I'm just going to play in some other map, and today we're going to play in North Shadow Canals, so let's see what we've got, right? Let's see how bad this one can actually be. The two previous ones were not as bad as I thought they could be, but we'll see. This is not going to go well. But if I can get some solid headshots, that's going to be interesting. going to be so hard. No, it's still a shotgun, dude. <laughs> I do believe it's still a shotgun. You can just spam people. Just like that. Oh, there's a sniper here. Hold on. Yes, sir. Oh. A tank just killed me. Oh, yeah. Got another one. Oh, look who's here. The muzzle velocity on this thing is actually pretty low. Lower than I expected. Hopefully I don't have to get used to this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is just not, not a good thing to get used to. I don't really have to play a lot with this weapon, but I do believe it's, the, it's, tr it's just trash. Luck. To whoever recommended this, you're a menace, bro. You're a menace. This thing is just unbelievably bad. Unbelievable. Oh, there's this head glitch sniper looking at me. I got a kill. From that range. Maybe I'm getting used to it after all. Got another one? Yeah, that was the last kill. My god. This weapon? Literally the worst thing I've ever played in Battlefield 2042. But that's about today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any video ideas, I'll be all ears since Battlefield 2042 is coming to an end. We are actually running out of content again. In 2042 that's not something new to your ears but if you got video ideas if you have other like uh weapon combinations weapon attachment combinations for the next part of this video do make sure to comment down below and i'll be all ears to see if you guys can recommend something even worse so until next time guys stay cool